Cage Fright by Wade Bradford. This is the story of a little girl named Goldilocks. Hello, welcome to my story. She loved to explore the great outdoors. Little did she know that in the middle of the forest, there was a cozy little cabin. And inside the cozy little cabin lived three bears. Mama Bear, hello. Baby Bear, hello. And Papa Bear, huh? Is the porridge ready, Mama? Not yet, Baby Bear. What shall we do while we wait? Asked Baby Bear. And Papa Bear said, Who said that? That's not what he was supposed to say. I think what Papa Bear meant to say was, Let's all go to a walk through the woods. There are people looking at us. Papa Bear, I'm trying to narrate. Why are there words floating in the air? Papa Bear, we are in a story. We are? Yes, and those people out there are our readers. Now say your line, dear. Uh, okay. Let's all go for a woods through the walk. Oops, how embarrassing. Did all those people out there hear me make a mistake? Oh, no. Just relax, Papa Bear. Maybe you should sit down. Good idea. Wait, not there. Smash. What are you all still doing here? You are ruining my story. Papa Bear has page fright. It happens to storybook characters once in a while. Now, Papa Bear, take a deep breath and say, let's all go for a walk through the words. Uh, I mean, walk in the whoops. Oh, no, I can't do it. I've got to get out of this book. Watch out, you're ripping my pages. Rip. He's gone. Why didn't you stop him, narrator? Sorry, everything went crazy. I didn't know what to do. Why don't you two peek outside the pages and see if you can find him? I'll stay here and mind the porridge. Follow him. Come back, Papa Bear. Sorry to interrupt your dragon story. But have you seen a large bear? He went that way. I think he's headed for the fables. Hare stopped for a rest in the shade tree, but the tortoise, slow and steady, continued on toward the finish line. Excuse me. Hey, I'm supposed to win this race. Has anyone seen? Right there. How did you find me? Papa Bear, I know it's hard to have page fright, but we need you to come back into the right book so we can finish our story. Our story? Can you just please finish the story without me? I really, really don't want to go back. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Whee! Hello, dear. Welcome back. I've got some porridge ready for you. All you have to do now is say your line. But those people are still staring at me. That's because they like to watch you. They do? Yes, and they like to listen to you. They do? Yes, and they like it when you help us tell our story. You mean my story. Then I'll give the people what they want. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but the story is almost over. Not now, narrator. The story is about to begin. <clears throat> Let's all go for a walk through the woods. Right after we eat our porridge. The end. Hey! Hey!